How you doing, Mr. DJ Back from a 70s YouTube channel this time? Going to outsource Billboard's Hot 100 February the 11th, I believe, 1973. God, that was a good year, 1973. And there's a lot of lost 45s on this Hot 100 that I want to cover. February 10th, 1973. Before I get to the lost 45, and boy, I'm telling you, it is lost. I'd be surprised if anybody could ever find this record. But before I get to that, let me give you the top. Let me go ahead and give you the top six records from that week. Do It Again by Steely Dan, their first hit record at number six. And Superstition by Stevie Wonder at number five. Oh, babe, what would you say by Hurricane Norman Smith, the guy who discovered Pink Floyd back in the late 60s? At number four, Why Can't We Live Together by Timmy Thomas, who was based in Miami when he came out with that record. Had his own nightclub, I believe, when he came out with this record. His one hit wonder. Uh, at number three, and You're So Fame by Carly Simon at number two, and Straight Americana 50 style rock and roll at number one, Elton John with Crocodile Rock. If anybody understands America and American music, it is Elton John. He brought it back at number one on Billboard's Hot 100. But the song I want to talk to you about, we're going all the way to the bottom. Number 100. Guess what song debuted at number 100 that week? The Night the Lights Went Out in Georgia by Vicki Lawrence. A song that, we, uh, that eventually went to number one. Number 100 and number one, 20 weeks on the chart. But the song that I want to talk to you about is Bunny Sigler. Tossing and Turning, the Bobby Lewis record. A psychedelic, a, a kind of a more soulful, uh, the organs and everything. It, it's more, it sounds more from the late 60s than it does from 1973, but there it is at number 99 making his debut on Billboard's Hot 100. Bunny Siegler. Uh, they called him Bunny. That was sort of a nickname of his because he was born two days before Easter. 1941, recorded for the Feed Tone record label in 1959. And then after that, he's, he's recorded for loads of record labels. Decca, Cameo Parkway, and of course, Philly International. I'll get into that in just a minute. Considered one of the prime songwriters of Philly International back in the 70s. Uh, he, his biggest pop hit was Let the Good Times Roll. That Shirley and Lee record, remember that? 1967, done by Bunny Siegler off the Cameo Parkway label. But then Cameo Parkway folded in 1967. Gotta remember, Cameo Parkway was a big record label back in the early uh, 60s. Bobby Rodell was on that record label. But uh, fast forward now to 1967, 1968, late 60s. Bunny Sigler started hanging out with Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff. Gamble Huff Productions. He was strumming the guitar. He was singing songs. He was practicing his newly acquired martial skills. He was uh, kickboxing at walls and just just throwing his fist around. And... Uh, that unsettled. So the people who came to visit Gamble and Huff, they were like, oh my God, I'm scared of this guy. Is he, he going to throw a kick at me? And uh, Kenny Gamble told Bunny Siegler, I tell you what, let's, let's calm down. Let's, let's hold you up with a guy named Eugene Dozier. You write some songs with Eugene Dozier. And that's interesting because uh, Bunny Sigler did not intend to become a songwriter, but that's what happened. In 1970, when uh, Gamble Huff Productions became Philly International, Eugene Dozier left, and uh, uh, Bunny Sigler took over his office. Started writing songs. Most of them kind of obscure. One of the songs that he wrote, his big, first big songwriting success, uh, with uh, Kenny Gamble and Leon Huff was You Are My Sunshine by the OJs. That was their runner-up to Backstabbers in 1972. He wrote some other songs off that album, too. Backstabbers written by McFadden and Whitehead. Guys who did Ain't No Stopping Us Now in 1979. Then he came out with his first chart hit. Well, at least his first chart hit since, I guess, since 1967. At least as far as the Hot 100 is concerned, but it was not very big. Bobby Lewis's... Um, tossing and turning. Let's go back to that Hot 100. It peaked at 97. That's it. On Billboard's Hot 100 for just two weeks. Well, how about that? On the Ultimate Lost 45s by Bunny Sigler, tossing and turning. Brought back by Mr. DJ.